Hello and welcome to another modeling video. Today we're going to look at the December issue of Fine Scale Modelers tutorial on filters. Uh, a filter is a paint thinned down beyond the point of a ink so it is to change the finished color of a kit. So if you wish to give it a weathered effect or slightly change the tinge of it because that color doesn't exist in paint you're able to do so by getting a solid color, thinning it down and brushing it or airbrushing it across the surface. This gives you a lot more control over the finish of your kit than just using a paint out of a jar. This has come to a good time for me because my Galbaldi pink is too musk like and I wish to give it a more burgundy color just like the box art. I intend to use the colour red to deepen the colour a bit. Just like tutorials out of modelling magazines, the information is extremely vague, so I went on my own tangent. I believe it was safe to use a clear colour and acrylics. I've also decided to airbrush this though found I had very little control and it behaved a lot like an ink and was really splotchy. Though the first coat worked quite well and I got the effect that I wanted though later on it became a lot more apparent and um, this wouldn't normally do. Though since this kit is going to be extremely weathered it was okay for this project but I didn't feel safe for future projects. I added a lot of um, styrene sheets and extra detail for, into this kit to do a lot of weathering and ink work. So it is perfect for a transparent paint experiment. In summary, the magazine dictated that you used enamel paint, thin the enamel paint to the point where it's 5% paint only and 95% thinner and brush it on with a soft bristle brush. I used Tamiya enamels and lighter fluid as the thinner. A short bristled shading brush was employed and what I found interesting is the pigments are quite heavy so you have to mix the mixture quite often while applying or otherwise you'll have it thinner at the top and paint at the bottom. Brushing it on was extremely easy and it leveled itself across the surface quite nicely and appeared to be a lot nicer than the acrylic though it takes a few layers for the effect to be obviously noticeable. I applied acrylic top coat to protect the paint from the enamel thinner and noticed that the main paint was not stirred from the thinner whatsoever. Just now is the first coat and the next image is the second coat and where I'm happy for this project to finish. Filtering can be handy for many purposes and many projects either if you wish to weather, change the colour of the kit or to have a bit of fun or be absolutely creative. It looks like the second technique was really worthwhile and worked perfectly fine. Uh, I believe it sits across the surface quite clean. I'm actually going to try it on a white surface in the future and let you guys know how well it goes. It's extremely easy to do. You don't have to be an absolute expert. And I believe you can even do this on absolute bare plastic if you are a snapper. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick and short tutorial. Thank you for watching and until next time.